diets, although mine is generally balanced. This time I don't need to diet in the exercise and food intake sense of the word for a healthier lifestyle. This time I need to balance, correct, reduce everything around me that will contribute to the same level of desired level of, positive, of positivity. I'm cutting out carbs, opportunists that seem complimentary but just bolt me up like starch. I'm cutting out sugar, unhelpful, avoidable situations and unnecessary spending that don't really please my sweet tooth but just give me a toothache and cavities. I'm cutting out salt that adds to my cholesterol, where the action may seem useful at the time, but I know I'm just playing myself. I'm cutting out junk food, the things that give the illusion that it's better than what it is because it looks good. I eat fake friends and good looking guys that are distasteful inside. The ones that falsely advertise themselves as nice, exciting and trustworthy when really they're deceitful, damaging and just bad for me. I'm cutting out junk like those stir that those that sternly avoid pork. Now, I'm not one of those people I'm not about to deny myself my beloved belly pork ribs or bacon. <laughs> but I will cut out the badness of all the swine that I've consumed so much of that now is consuming me. I mean haters and disrespectful people. Stop entertaining rude invasive Klingons that want to pull you down due to their own insecurities and jealousy or personal suffering. Their opinions are harmful and at times have been my spiral. They're literally my anchor whenever I go to set sail or give them the benefit of the doubt, and that's what really pisses me off. Fact is, they're not going to change, so I'm wrong for taking it on. You may have, well, you've had me exhaust myself, though I lack exercise. So I'm going to now exercise my power to say no. You will no longer be the sweat stain on my t-shirt. It has been far too taxing and dehydrating when all I want to do is drink my beloved water that's pure and not contaminated. I need to increase my water intake of calm, resilience and self-validation. Even more so, I'm cutting out what has been causing me the most damage lately. Affecting me daily whether I'm trying to fall asleep or I'm reluctantly awake. I am making the extra effort to get rid of my bad thoughts. The thoughts of where I talk badly to myself and think badly on myself and really I'm just beating myself up. Not forgiving myself for my mistakes or failures. Preventing myself from going further and having this Peter party, fuck that shit. It's these toxins that are the worst for me. And I need to cut out all the fat as it carries the most weight, giving me cellulite that doesn't apply to my size, but mimics my disconcerting state of mind. I can feel it in my thighs and waistline and the tension from my shoulders and my back and my temples and frown lines and I need to cut it out immediately, trim the fat completely. It has been hard for me to come to terms with this. As with many, it's a condition, a mental state that's not properly dealt with or confronted. But I can now openly and calmly admit to myself that I'm depressed. I am depressed. Suppressed and repressed and from unfortunate circumstances and what I felt like to be a vacuum of hopelessness that I allowed to overthrow and that I allowed to overthrow my control. Bad patterns that I allowed to take over. Thus they have extended their due date and won't expire. And now I'm just fed up and I'm just beyond tired as it affects my sleep, how I eat my moods and affects what to what I am now not immune. Affecting how I approach my everyday life. I need to detox alleviate all of this self-acknowledged crap from my system. Easier said than done, but the first step is admitting that I have a problem. Cut out all the shit that's clogging up my arteries, intestines, pores, bowels and bladder, which would explain my indigestion, migraines, extensive inflammation and infections that have now become periodic, such as cystitis, which has now become chronic. Perturbingly, I've learned that the causes to most of my health problems are stress-related. Which is just so ironic. This means that my stress needs to be better managed, which it can be done with this new diet. Now, this is not a bandwagon resolution. I'm not approaching this lightly. But this is a conscious decision that I am taking seriously. I am taking active steps to improve my way of life and to make it that much more worth living. Cutting out the negativity, whether it be negative people, negative thoughts, or what I watch on television. And that includes Wendy Williams. <laughs> Altering my bad habits and the cycle of nonsense that brings me down, modifying the expectations of others and that of myself, transforming my personal environment. I suggest everyone does that. Being more protective of my happiness, sacrificing more for my peace of mind. A new lifestyle is on the horizon. Our lives are determined by our decisions. And all is possible with just the will to adapt. Thank you.